Hi, I'm John Silverman. And I'm Mickey Steinberg, and welcome to Hagalil Jews Room. Don't, don't you mean Hagalil Newsroom? No, I mean Hagalil Jews Room. We, 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 we agreed, we're, call, we're calling it Newsroom. That's no, like, we're all called. Jews, that's, that's and it's a newsroom, but it, it, but so it's, it's Jews no, Room. It, it's, 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 You're watching Newsroom, let's jump right in. I'm Mickey Steinberg and he's John Silverman. We had our Israel Day Parade where we took to the streets, brought our pride to the city, marching out on our feet. This summer with you is why people spend the days in Israel, Europe, and around the USA. It's August in Starlight Encampments here again. It's epic. 20th through the 27th. EPA had guest chairs here with us too. Bi regional encampment to start as something new. So we're not gonna stall, we're not gonna be mean. So let's introduce the encampment to 2017. I'm gonna do this with the motivated you two to come to encamp? Uh, so I heard really good stuff about it, and uh, people have been telling me it was a lot of fun and I thought it would be a good way to get more involved with Kadima. Yeah, and how about you? So this is my sixth encampment, and but I'll, start, I'll say why I went to my first one. So I actually didn't know about encampment in, my sixth, in sixth grade, and I wish I did because I would have gone. I went because I loved Kadima, and I was like, okay, I want to get more involved. I want more friends from around the state of New Jersey, around Hagalil. And so I was like, you know what, this is a perfect opportunity because everyone that I, that I knew that went to encampment in sixth grade, like, there's so many nice kids, you'll love it. So I went, made lots of friends, and I just about this program that we just did. Yeah, sure. Um, so at Encampment we did a TO education program where you aspire to split, in, split into eight groups um, and they learned about eight different organizations that we allocate 40% uh, of our staff. Oh, So today we explored themes of music on Shabbat and uh, we got a little bit off topic but that's okay. But we started off listening to some music uh, that I happened to have that had different uh, tefillah load in it that we say on Shabbat and we kind of tried to find them in the Sidor. Then we explored the idea of using instruments on Shabbat when maybe Jews did it one time, maybe when they didn't, and uh, how we felt about it. And then we also talked about the whole idea of Ruach and how we go about it, whether or not it enhances Shabbat or it takes away from it. What do you hope that you aspirers will get from your Sikhat? I hope that they learn that music can play a powerful role in their Jewish lives and their lives at large. Um, I'm also a musician outside of USY. I'm a, I'm a band teacher. Um, so music is like my everyday life. 
And uh, I hope they realize that there's still also a lot of things they can learn. Like, if you think you already know something, the, the world of Jewish music, especially learn when Ami was here, is huge. And it goes, there's thousands of years of it. There's so much that we can learn that can really enhance the way we know things. <laughs> So it's like, what is Creative Shachari and what is it? Uh, thank you, John. Um, so Creative Shachari um, is basically when we do uh, Shachari, the morning prayers, um, in a creative way, sometimes uh, through poetry, sometimes through music, um, in this case, through activity and active games. And they, they aim to, um, to uh, make people as comfortable praying as possible. Some people don't relate to a Sidur, as much as they do to their own writing. So the plan for the rest of the year, um, and likely two years after, is just to have encampment together, pre-convention together before I see and spring convention together. Um, and basically what it'll do is like all the connections and relationships, friendships that we've made here in encampment will be able to continue at pre-con, at spring convention, um, and even at our own events throughout the year. Um, both regions will also be invited to the other region's events, even though um, it will be more like that the home region. It will be more like their tr traditions. Um, the other region will also be invited to see their friends and um, yeah, we're really reunite. we're really bringing more Jewish teams together, really creating better relationships and friendships between the regions, and coming together as a, a one giant community. So we're really excited about this. Yeah, we're taking like the ruach that we had individually, putting it together, and making it ten times. <laughs> and all this celebration and all this joy and don't do anything with it if we go home and become the same selves that we're used to if we're just if, we, if we're not excited to exist every day if we're not sharing our passions with other people then all of what we're doing here at this encampment becomes for nothing it becomes meaningless so please take all this energy take all this growth take all this excitement go home Channel it into your passions and what you love, and change your communities, which will in turn change the world. And... That's it for this episode of Hagalil Jews Room. You can reach out to us at hoggalilnewsroom at gmail.com with your own ideas. You are all just as much a part of Newsroom as Mickey and I are. And remember to sign up for Fall Kinnis at Marlboro USY from November 17th and 19th. Be sure to sign up as soon as possible on Reg Packs. Reg Packs? Yeah, Reg Packs. No, it's Reg Packs. It's r Reg Packs. No, no, no. You register on Reg but, Packs. But, there, but it's a hard G because there's no I or E after it. You know what? Let's have a poll. Comment whether you think me or Mickey, whether you think Mickey and I are right. It's Reg Packs. It's Reg Packs. It's Reg Packs. It's Reg Packs. It is Reg Packs. Comment below with how you think it is pronounced. Well, that's all for Hog Little Newsroom for this episode. I'm Mickey Steinberg. And I'm John Silverman. And we will see you next time, Hog